Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can implement high availability in your architecture of MQTT servers. So let's go to start. Uh, right now uh, you are seeing an image that is currently in the center of the screen and it, uh, and it shows you how you can um, implement this high availability to make this test or to make this laboratory we're going to use four VMs or four machines. Uh, I don't know the infrastructure that you uh, have in your hands, but we're going to use uh, four VMs. Uh, three of the, three of these VMs will act like uh, MQTT brokers, and one machine will act like a load balancer, right? So uh, you can see in the in the image that are uh, some post tips. Uh, the first contain the IP addresses that, that all of our machines uh, are set up and the second contains the resources and the third contain the main configuration that needs to be set up in the node 1 and the node 2 right so let's start it just uh, mention that we define these resources based on some small test that we run to identify how many cores, how many gigabytes of RAM do we need. So that's our uh, suggestion to you if you want to implement this infrastructure. Um, we know that with this uh, setup all is up and running. We use a Windows host that uh, contains uh, i5 uh, Intel Core CPU, uh, 24, 24 gigabytes of RAM, and that's it. With this hardware, we are running uh, those four VMs. So let's get started. To start, uh, I'm gonna use the first uh, machine that I show you here in the image, the load balancer um, machine and this machine needs to contain the next configurations all those configurations are located in this file its name is hproxy cfg and just i'm gonna focus in the setups that needs to be uh, provided in order to to enable the high availability in, in mqtt the rules that we need to uh, implement are the next uh, the load balancer needs to uh, listen all the requests through the uh, port 1883. Uh, the mode of connection should be TCP. Uh, we can uh, provide a timeout. I mean, after some hours, the hours that we specify here in the file, after the hours passed, uh, the load balancer will disconnect uh, the devices that pass the, the hour that we define. Uh, we we need to de to define the balance uh, algorithm uh, in this case and based on the application of the of the balance uh, requirement we define the least connection mode there are some kind of modes that uh, you need to, to review in case that your application is different but almost in all the MQ or MQTT servers we provide this and we suggest this uh, kind of algorithm right and then we have to define the servers that we are going to, to use to redirect the traffic. Uh, just to mention the, the balancer, it doesn't has installed the MQTT client. It just will act like a receiver of the request and the sender of the request, right? It will use the servers that we set up here. It will just redirect the servers that we have here in the pool balancing, right? So now that you have uh, this information, uh, I'm gonna upload these uh, files in case that you need it for your awareness, for your uh, test. So that's all the configurations that we need, right? So right now that I already defined the configurations, I need to enable the service. Uh, I'm gonna enable the service with this command that it's uh, usr svin proxy f uh, flag to know to the binary that needs to, to run with this configuration file, the same that uh, we already reviewed, and the D option, the, the book option to, 
to review errors or warnings or something like that. So I'm gonna start the the load balancer, and yeah, we received some uh, warnings. Uh, two warnings to be specific. There are one warning that says, "Hey, the node one is down, the node two is down. There's no service or there's no servers to redirect the traffic." It is uh, a notice or a warning, as the log said, and it uh, helps us know to, to we don't have any any service up and running. It it can help us to know that maybe we have we have a file in our infrastructure. So. Uh, let us start the brokers in the node 1 and the node 2 that it's the reason that the balancer uh, can't find the the servers right so in the next step i'm gonna set up the brokers and that's it okay right now let me show you the configuration that we use in the brokers to provide the high availability service right uh, the configurations will be in the next path uh, that are the path that by default uh, Mosquito suggests you to include the configurations it will be etc mosquito conf d and the file of configuration that we posted in the image let me show you the image uh, that file of configuration is in the image in the third uh, post-it but let me show you here in the terminal uh, we need to define the next uh, things the first of all is uh, the password file and this uh, broker as we know uh, can uh, work with uh, some uh, password files it will uh, record uh, the name of the user and our password in tokenized mode so we define the, the location of this file uh, we define the the port that we use to to listen the request. In this case, uh, we already define the uh, allow anonymous true in order to accept all the requests coming through this through this server. Uh, I suggest you to to disable this to disable this option uh, just uh, for test of cases. Uh, we enable this this parameter but I suggest you in production mode to disable this flag so, um, the next setup that we are going to use is uh, providing a, a connection name this is our name of connection that it is external bridge and I'm gonna use the IP address of our server that act as a backup mode that it's in the in the top of all the VMs we are going to define that uh, the backup mode of the server or the bridge mode to the server uh, will be 10 0, 0, uh, 200, right? We are going to use the in and out topics and we can resume with the uh, word bot. All the topics in and all the topics out will be redirected through this server, right? So, uh, as I mentioned, this uh, configuration at the beginning of the file the password file it's uh, already set up in the backup file so we need to define the credentials to connect with that node or with that server we can use a certificate but in this test we are going to use the credentials right and we are going to specify our client id as we know we are the node one so we are going to use the srb mqtt01 that it's the name of the server right and that's it that's all that we need to to work as a high availability let me start the service just to to show you how can the balancer detect automatically that there is a node in the pool of balancing uh, with this instruction we can enable the the broker with the debug mode just to see if there is any error we can identify track and solve so let me start it okay right now if you can hear see in the balancer uh, the balancer detect that there is a new server up and running and it's ready to send the request through this 
server, right? So we are uh, almost uh, done with this activity. Uh, but we need to review the same configuration in the in the node too, right? So let me show you the configuration. It should be exactly the same, but with one difference. And let me show you. As we can see in the node one, we have same configuration, but to identify that we have different uh well as you can see as you can see in the as you can see in the previous a uh, note it is the same configuration with the difference that we are going to use a different client id just to identify in the broker the requests that are coming from those uh, notes right so let me start the service right now we are saying an error and it says error creating bridge broken pipe and that's true because our currently our broker that act like a backup mode uh, is not running so we can see this this error in all the logs but what we can see here is that the load balancer recognize the node that it's up and running and it's ready right now to send the request through two nodes, right? So, now we already set up our two brokers. Uh, now we can uh, set up the backup broker. So, let us uh, show you the configuration that are already running in this broker. This configuration is easier than the previous. Here just uh, we can see the password file that obviously contains same password that we use in that configuration in the previous VMs, contains the, the same user. And we need to define the port that the broker will listen the request and that's it. We can start the service. Uh, I'm gonna use the next configuration file that obviously changed because this broker won't act like a cluster mode just like a backup mode so with this with this command i'm going to start the the broker here we can see that the broker received the connection from the srv mqtt01 and right now, all the messages that we send through this broker will be published automatically here. And right now, we can see that the broker number two uh, has already connected with the backup server. So right now, if I send a new request through the balancer, I can see that the message are replicated in all the nodes. Why? Because I define the property both right so every message that i send to the balancer will be sent to one of these machines for example if i send the message to the balancer and the node one receive the message it will send the the message to the backup mode but the backup uh, broker has already set up the configuration that replicate the message in two ways so it will send the message to all the nodes that it's already connected and we can see the message in the three VMs. Let us try it. So right now, just to exemplify that our um, infrastructure is working correctly, I'm gonna run the script that generate the, the message. It generates message uh, randomly through the to the load balancer here we can see uh, we uh, we generate a message with an incremental uh, in the another terminal that you are seeing right now i'm gonna subscribe you to the balancer to see all the requests that are coming so i'm gonna run the script here in the background you can see that the balancer is receiving the request the two nodes are receiving requests and the backup in the same way is receiving requests 
if I subscribe you to the balancer, I can see the message that are uh, being received by the publisher. So let me close the connection of OneNote just to exemplify that the high availability is up and running. Let me stop the messages in the Note 2. We can see that the terminal received an error obviously because uh, the connection that was opened was closed and we can see the same behavior here in the terminal that it's uh, a subscription mode but after some seconds that the balancer can just uh, stop the redirection to the to the node 2 we can see that our uh, architecture is up and running uh, in case that i need to enable again the service we can see that once that we enable the service, we can recover the high availability and we can uh, provide less times of disconnection. So right now we have implemented an architecture to provide high availability to MQTT clusters. Thank you and let me know your questions.